Greetings Rainbow Cats! It's Halloween and it's story time! Today's video contains explicit language and scenes of fictional horror. Therefore it may not be suitable for young children or those of a sensitive nature. You have been warned. It was a quiet day back in the Yolo Mofo desert. The unicorn was hanging out with his friends and they were all reminiscing about the events of the most recent party. The zebra, leopard, tiger and giraffe were looking fiercer than ever with their new 3D print outfits. That unicat we met in Swagaloof was magical, said the zebra. I love what he did to my stripes. They look sharp and badass. He was magical, the leopard rhymed in agreement. He told me I should look more trippy, and he was right. I just wasn't cutting it before with 2D. Yeah, 2D stripes are so last year, the tiger roared with glee. I'm in love with my funky new stripes. It's a great reminder of all the fun we had in Swagaloof. The giraffe, however, ended up having to pay more for his design because he was 19 feet tall. So he didn't join in on the chat because he was feeling a little bit pissed. But he knew the unicat had to make a living. I guess I do look pretty fabulous, the giraffe muttered to himself. I had such a great time there. The warricorn is awesome said the unicorn. I had so many rainbow beers I can barely remember what happened, but I know it was insane. Unicorn magic is always creating new life across the land. The warricorn was one example. They had all been swept through the purple vortex off to the insane and slightly dark place, Swagaloof, where creatures of all kinds go to express themselves. The classy creatures were glad they accepted the unicorn as a friend because he always finds the coolest places to party. The unicorn felt a sneeze coming on. Let's see what magic this after party sneeze will make, the unicorn said before he took a deep breath and splat. But wait, there's something not quite right about the rainbow. Why are they all horrible colours? They look poisonous. Did something happen to you in Swagaloo? The Warricorn was a regular, hardcore and very well-known party animal in the land of Swagaloo. He had invited the Unicorn and his friends along and everything was going great. They had all been introduced to the Unicat, the owner of the most famous and fabulous rainbow salon in the land. I can make you guys look swag, he'd say. Let's go back to mine for some rainbow corn and a chat. The unicorn had left them all to it and stayed out all night with the other creatures. They stayed up until the early hours and shared a few rainbow beers. The night was as epic and unpredictable as the drinks they were consuming. It all got a bit crazy and they all had a few too many. But worst of all, the Warricorn had consumed a dangerous cocktail. His beer was poisoned with blue rainbow corn. He reacted badly. He felt himself decaying from the inside and a sudden, violent, aggressive hunger for fresh meat. The unicorn had been bitten and now he was turning. Don't worry, my good friends. Nothing bad happened in Swagaloof, 
Now come closer so I can smell you. I don't think I trust his magic anymore, said the zebra as he felt his skin peel off and he fell into a never-ending trance. The leopard tried to fight the unicorn with his claws, but it was too late. The unicorn had mauled him to pieces with his horn and now he had turned as well. Whatever you're doing, just make it quick, please, said the tiger, trying not to roar in pain as he felt the unicorn tear him apart with his teeth. The giraffe was already in the never-ending trance. He felt the virus flow through his veins and his skin tighten and decompose and then a passionate thirst for blood. The virus had spread. They quickly started to share the same aggressive hunger for fresh meat and soon they were unstoppable.